Ever seen lightning trapped in a piece of wood? That's called Lichtenberg art, and today I'll show you exactly how to create it. Safely, step by step. But before we get started, huge warning, this process involves high voltage electricity. It can be deadly if not handled properly. Only proceed if you understand the risks and have the right safety setup. So, what exactly is Lichtenberg wood burning? It's a technique that uses high voltage electricity to burn lightning-like patterns into wood. The electricity follows a conductive path on the surface, usually made with a water and baking soda solution. The results? Stunning fractal-like designs that look like natural bolts of lightning frozen in time. Now let's go over what you need to make this safely and successfully. First, your power source. Most people use a microwave oven transformer or a ready-made Lichtenberg burner. Then you'll need two insulated probes or electrodes to direct the current. For the wood, softwoods like pine work best, and always test on scraps first. For safety gear, this is non-negotiable. Wear rubber gloves, use a thick rubber mat under your work area, and make sure you're far from anything flammable. A fire extinguisher should be nearby at all times. Also, never touch anything once the machine is turned on. Mix a conductive solution using about one tablespoon of baking soda per cup of water. Brush this evenly over the wood surface where you want the burn to happen. Then, place your electrodes on the wood. This will control the direction of the burn. Now comes the magic, but also the danger. Plug in the transformer, turn it on, and watch the burn begin. The electricity travels across the wood in wild, branching patterns. It only takes a few seconds to create a full burn, so don't overdo it. Once you're happy with the design, turn it off and unplug it completely before touching anything. Let the wood cool, then scrub the burn marks gently with a brush. I use vinegar and water to neutralize the surface. After that, lightly sand the surface to clean off the residue and smooth the edges. At this point, you can leave the charred look as is, or go a step further and fill the burn channels with clear or colored epoxy resin. Once that's done, apply your favorite wood finish. A clear coat or oil finish really brings it to life. And that's it, lightning and wood. Just remember, this technique is risky, Always follow proper safety procedures and never, ever touch the wood or wires while the current is running. Do it right and you'll have one of the coolest woodworking art pieces you've ever made. If this video helped or inspired you, drop a like and subscribe. I've got more electrifying projects coming soon and let me know in the comments, should I turn this piece into a live edge wall art next?